What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Landon Chair and today we have a very special video because we have a new family member here on the channel here at ZWF Zoological Wildlife Foundation. Again guys, you can come and visit here and you guys can actually book in the link down below. But right now, we are in the jungle and I've got my weapon of choice right here. Slice just like that. We have to collect some big old banana leaves. Well, this is a massive leaf here. And you might be saying, what are you doing with this big old leaf? Well, you guys are about to find out. We're gonna need a couple more of these guys. Oh, what the f oh man, <laughs> look at that. We had a tree frog come down on one of the leaves. I'm sorry, I'm taking a part of your home, buddy. Look at this frog. He just jumped on Sean, and Sean didn't know what it was. He kind of freaked out a little bit. He might jump onto Sean now. Oh, he's thinking about it. There he goes. <laughs> we got him here. I'm sorry for, for messing up part of your home. There you go. Go up your tree. He'll stick right to there. Oh, back in the tree where he belongs. I wish I had maybe a sharper knife, but there we go. This will work. Here we are with some monkeys that don't usually get featured on the channel. Come here. Come on, Phil and Steve, come on. Come on, these big guys love some leaves here. Do you want this? Oh yeah. Oh, we love leaves. You can get the whole thing. Usually they grab this whole big thing and rip it right through. I don't know why they're not being crazy right now. Do you want more? This is good stuff. There you go. Oh. So this is Phil and Steve the colobus monkeys and they love these big banana leaves and today's video is all about the monkeys that we have here specifically the baby monkey that we just got oh there he goes ripping it right through he says i want more of that stuff come on steve come on you want some oh yeah he's pulling that big old leaf in i don't know why his brother doesn't want any of this but these colobus monkeys are beautiful and guys these are leaf eaters they actually can't have any fruits, too much of any fruit can actually be kind of toxic for them and that is just not good for their diet. So we have to give them leaf eater biscuits, which is a special biscuit. This guy right here that's made up, well it has a little bit of uh, avocado on it, but this biscuit right here which is made up of all the vitamins and nutrients that they need and ground up leaf material, but a big fresh leaf like this is one of their favorites. You can see how he's ripped it through there. If this guy doesn't take it right now, we might go and give it to somebody else. There you go. Oh, oh man, he says I wanted to take that. He was actually letting his big brother get the food first so that way they didn't have any sort of altercation. He's got his big leaf and now Steve has got his big leaf. So these colobus monkeys, what's really amazing about them is their coat. You can see this big long tail that he's got here. He's a very large monkey and they've got this beautiful coat which actually puts them in a tough situation in the wild. A lot of people like to poach them for that fur. It was something a little more common years ago, but it's still being seen today. And also, these guys are hunted by chimpanzees in the wild. Chimpanzees will actually strategically put a group of them on one side of the forest, a group on the other, surround these colobus monkeys, come in and attack them for a meal. The chimpanzees don't only eat leaves and vegetables and fruits and other matter like that. They also do have other prey items and these colobus monkeys are one of them. We have a special guest over here though. I don't know what he's gonna do when he sees me. Richie! Richie! Oh my goodness! Hi Richie! Hi Richie man! Hi! Oh my goodness! Was this the biggest surprise ever? Oh my goodness, you're such a beautiful boy. And look at your beautiful girls here. He says, hey, give me the attention. I want the attention. Guys, this is Richie, the Brazilian tufted capuchin monkey. And he is a star here at Zoological Wildlife Foundation. He's also got his girls in here, Dee Dee. And oh my goodness, here, would you like some of this? Would you like some of this? I don't know what they're gonna do with this, but we'll see. Here, he says, I'm kind of chewing on my monkey biscuits right now. This stuff's pretty good. Are those good monkey biscuits? Here, you want some of this? Here. Here. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. 
Is that leaf so much fun? If you guys have seen Romeo here on the channel, he is also a baby Brazilian tufted capuchin, just like these guys. And these guys are so amazing because of their intelligence. You guys have seen these in tons of different movies and shows. Any monkey, nine times out of 10, that you're gonna see on television is gonna be the capuchin, whether it's the Brazilian tufted or the white-faced capuchin boy. Ali, come down here. Come down here, senor, come on. Who is that big scary guy? Who are those big crazy people in there? Look at all those crazy people. Oh my goodness, Ollie. So this is the white face capucha monkey. You can see the similarities, but also the differences between him and Richie Man over there. Obviously there's the color difference. He's actually a little bit larger in size. He's got those big old fangs that he's showing. He is just such a sweet boy. He actually does come out of the enclosure. Most of these animals do because they've been raised around people, which is exactly what we're about to get into with this new little baby that we have on the property. Hello. Oh my goodness, Ollie, you are just such a sweet boy. He is so excited to see me and all of you guys, but we have some other guys right here. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness, am I being too loud here? It's okay. Look what I got for you. It's okay. There you go. What do I got? It's okay. It's all right. Here, take the whole leaf. That's all for you. That's all for you. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're gonna pull it all the way through. Pull it, pull it. Oh man, that's so crazy and big. These are the wedge-capped capuchins. They're kind of going crazy right now. Oh my goodness, the one little guy said, I got the leaf, I'm running. Look at you. Oh, he got the little piece. Hello, little ones. I actually don't really have a relationship with these guys and you guys can tell. Look at the way they're interacting with me. But these guys are new to me. And that's why I have the animals here that I've shown you that I have the bonds with. But right now, we are going to be creating a bond for the first time and you guys are gonna watch it live. Let's go see this little monkey. Look who we have here, guys. I don't wanna be too loud because I don't wanna freak this little girl out. This is my first time meeting this little one. And this is Billy Joe. She is a wedge cap capuchin girl. And she, right now, now, honestly, is a little bit um, out of her comfort zone right now. She's just holding on to her little blanket. She's just trying to figure out who I am, who you guys are in the big screen. And she's a little bit nervous, so we're not trying to be too loud and trying to make it uncomfortable for her. We want to make this the most comforting experience as possible. And we're just trying to start in building a relationship with this little girl. Like I said, she's a wedge cap, just like the ones we just saw. Not, not the white face like Oliver, not the Brazilian tufted like Richie, who we saw in the beginning, but those crazy ones who were taking the leaves, those little capuchins. You could see why they call them a wedge cap. They've got this little wedge right on their cap, right on their head, as like this little helmet here. And they've got this beautiful face, these big old ears. And she is just so tiny, little Billy Joe. You are just so precious. She's holding on to this blanket because it's really comforting for her, guys. Having a relationship with this animal is one of the most amazing things, and being able to get her out and share this experience with you guys, this is just one of the most amazing experiences. And I can't wait to share more experiences with this little girl with you guys because this is going to be a crazy adventure. So if you guys want to see that, you have to subscribe to the channel. But we can't really have a full monkey video without showing our crazy monkey boy. So I think we're gonna go get him now. We cannot have a monkey video on the channel without you guys seeing little Romeo. Oh my goodness, look at how cute and handsome he is. Why are you hanging on my hat? Why are you hanging on my hat? Oh my goodness, you're a crazy munch. You are a crazy big boy. Oh my goodness, you are free now. He is off leash and totally well behaved. He is my little pickpocketer, my little troublemaker, my little thief. He is a gorgeous boy. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness, he's a crazy. What are you doing, you crazy? What are you doing? Romeo just turned one. He is a big growing Brazilian tufted boy. Oh my goodness, stay back up here. Stay, oh, are we playing in the grass? Are we playing in the grass? What are we doing? I'm going over this way. I'm going over this way. He is so stimulated right now because he just got out of the enclosure. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long though. I just wanted to update you guys on him, let you guys see him and let him get out of the enclosure so we could play around a little bit. Oh, you wanna play in the grass? Why are you being a little crazy? Why are you being a little crazy? 
you guys have been amazing thank you for sticking around if you are sticking around this long oh he is being crazy right now guys if you have stuck around this long please like this video subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of this type of content we will be showing you more of billy joe soon that little girl is so precious i will see you guys next time peace